This conference will now be recorded. Welcome to DRTSPR show. This is Dr. Tangella Shiva Prasad Reddy alias Dr. TSPR. Namaste, Ada, hello, and a warm, warm welcome to Dr. KJ Ramesh Garu, former Director General, Indian Meteorological Department. Sir, welcome. And an important Thank issue. You. Again, an important issue. Monsoon, the southwest monsoon onset, but much before, because even in Delhi, North India, it gets delayed because there is an extended summer in because of the Himalayan region mm. or whatever you say. But in Delhi, Jaipur also now reports Himachal Pradesh and entire that northeastern area. They are going through the severe cloud burst, they are saying. We don't know. And Delhi, it records the highest rainfall in a day. The Yamuna, river Yamuna is almost at that danger level mark wherein it may. So, the... southern India is no better. Kerala, heavy rains. But unfortunately, Telangana, no rain except intermittent rainfall. Still, we feel it is very hot. Same is the case with Andhra Pradesh and other. What is the problem, sir? What is happening in India? Why this severe changes which we are witnessing now, the atmospheric changes or the meteorological delays in southern India where southwest monsoon should have taken off, but it is not happening here. But in northern India, record rainfall. They are saying it is cloud outbursts. Himachal Pradesh, you have seen what is happening. It is creating havoc there. Thanks, Andy. Uh, this monsoon uh, we are seeing last uh, uh, five, six years. Uh, year to year variability of the monsoon is uh, uh, very high. And um, there is always a uh, swapping of uh, wet and dry spells during the monsoon season in different areas. So, for example, you said the monsoon should start from Kerala and then it should be uh, doing uh, uh, good uh, uh, rainfall activity before it goes to North India and all. As you said, uh, normally around 1st June, monsoon enters Kerala and it covers uh, uh, the western part of Rajasthan, Sri Ganganagar area by 8th July, 8th July. So roughly about 40 days it takes to cover the whole country. So this time it has entered around uh, uh, 7th or uh, 8th June, uh, it delayed by about uh, 4 days, 5 days than anticipated. And then uh, monsoon advancement was sluggish. Because of a Bipperjoy cyclone formed over the Arabian Sea during that time associated with the monsoon. So what has really happened was all monsoon was dragged uh, by Bipperjoy and it was there over the sea for about 10 days and crossed uh, Kutch and uh, Sarkari coast of uh, uh, Gujarat and then gave a uh, lot of rainfall in uh, Sindh and uh, very heavy, slow-moving rainfall over uh, Palmer, Jodhpur, uh, Rajasthan, and the rainfall went up to went up to Gwalior also. Uh, Biparjai by the time it uh, weakened, so till that time Biparjai got weakened, uh, monsoon over the uh, southern parts did not pick up. Afterwards, it has picked up and rain started raining heavily from Gujarat side. Bombay, it gave a very good spell of rain and Gujarat uh, got a good spell of rain and subsequently the whole of uh, uh, hill states particularly uh, Himachal, Uttarakhand, Jammu and Kashmir, northern part of Pakistan and uh, adjoining northwest Indian states are now receiving rainfall. So coming to uh, the Assam side and northeastern side from the beginning because there was no effect of uh, uh, Biparjai type uh, disruption over Bay of Bengal. So that's how Bay of Bengal side of the monsoon which will take monsoon uh, uh, from uh, Andaman Nicobar Islands and then um, uh, 
our Myanmar coast and then North India, uh, Northeast India. So that was uh, very active and continuously rainfall has been there for one month. Uh, Brahmaputra is under uh, uh, flooding and heavy rainfall happening in catchment area, uh, Arunachal Pradesh and catchment area, even uh, some parts of uh, northern Myanmar, uh, some inflows come into uh, Brahmaputra and uh, some rainfall falling in uh, Sikkim also uh, comes to uh, the Assam side. So that is getting unabated. So record floods continuously more than a month now. Uh, northern part of Bangladesh and Northeast India and the whole of Brahmaputra catchment is getting uh, rainfall. So peninsular India from now onwards, uh, Telangana, Vidarbha, uh, uh, Maratwada region should receive good rainfall from now to next 10 days. So all that deficit uh, will go. Already rainfall happening in Chhattisgarh will bring, uh, already bringing lot of water to uh, your Pranahita segment of uh, uh, Godavari and from now Venganga and other rivers from Vidarbha side also bring water inflows into uh, Telangana uh, stretch of uh, Godavari now. So there should not be much worry on that uh, front. But what is happening is crucial sowing period we are losing because of this variability. So that is the big uh, impact uh, on ground for agriculture purposes. So people have to go for short duration crops, particularly rain fed agriculture, wherever they are doing for um, pulses, oil seeds, cereals, etc. But for uh, rice, I think now water would come. They can go up to um, uh, last week of July uh, to do the transplantation, etc. etc. But compared to other things, uh, we will have a lot of difficulty in terms of uh, climate emergency type of situation which is developing in the hill states, northeast India and hill states. Year after year, we are facing these uh, uh, impacts, unimaginable uh, uh, high impact uh, magnitude uh, impacts for on our infrastructure. Whatever infrastructure is built, it is not sustaining in uh, hill states. So, so that is a big serious concern now. I'll try to show some. I'll try to show some videos, sir. Uh, I don't know whatever I have. I'll try to. And flip side, the comment made by Prime Minister also. Oh, I have just uploaded them into some other. Uh, before coming, uh, you, before I start questioning on. Uh, how can we try to do away with such type of uh, uh, <coughs> emergencies? Every time we are saying we are not uh, uh, monsoon ready, or the now the entire India is has become uh, you know susceptible or it is exposed. So let me get that yes. videos played later because I'm not able to source the videos immediately. I'm just not no trying to. But but how 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 can uh, this be an excuse, sir? Uh, now let me ask you because every time I keep asking you uh, on this, sir. Let me just see if I got. Yeah. Let me show you this Jaipur one. And this is Prime Minister. बारिश हो रही है तो एक benefit है कि हम radar से बच सकते हैं. मैंने कहा मेरा raw medium है. ये क्लाउड बेनिफिट भी कर सकता है सब उलझन में थे क्या करें ना अल्टीमेटली मैंने कहा मैंने कहा ठीक है क्लाउड है लेकिन मैंने कहा इतने क्लाउड है बारिश हो रही है तो एक बेनिफिट है कि हम राडार से बच सकते हैं मैंने कहा मेरा रॉ विजम है तो ये क्लाउड बेनिफिट भी कर सकता है सब उलझन में थे क्या करें this is on the flip side. <laughs> yes. People keep sending. Sarji ne Delhi ko banaya jilong ka shahar. He has commented 200 millimeter rain in last 36 hours. Government's continuous monitoring and intervention. Much less water logging than last year. We will keep improving. 
2015 में 36 घंटे में 200 मिलीमीटर mm बारिश में भी कुछ नहीं हुआ लेकिन दो में 34 घंटे में एक सौ तिरपन मिलीमीटर बारिश में पूरी दिल्ली में हर जगह जल भराव हो गया मिस्टर केजरीवाल सी दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ आवर डेमोक्रेसी सी दे वे दे ट्राई टू ब्रिंग इट आउट मिस्टर केजरीवाल यू स्टैंड करेक्टेड और यू करेक्ट हिम सी ही इज क्लियरली स्टेटिंग 200 मिलीमीटर रेन्स इन लास्ट 36 सिक्स आवर्स गवर्नमेंट कंटिन्यूस मॉनिटरिंग एंड इंटरवेंशन मच लेस वाटर logging then last years we will keep improving 12th july 15 delhi received 153 mm of rain on 8th and 9th july delhi system are not designed to take such unprecedented rain so people faced trouble delhi cm arvind kejriwal i demand mr kejriwal you withstand an inquiry otherwise you are an elected chief minister now you are fighting very hard we appreciate because you want people cons- participate in constitutional democracy to survive but how can you be so need based so selfish as in when you want you can change your own comments kya ye galat hai kejriwal ji aapne 2015 mein kya kaha tha aaj july 8 aur 9 ke darmiyan jo barish hui uske khilaf aap kya kar rahe hain jab july 15 mein aap bole 200 mm 36 ghante mein barish hua delhi mein लेकिन आपने काफी सुधार किया इसीलिए आप दिल्ली बच गया लेकिन आप कह रहे कि अब दो में दिल्ली की जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर जो मूल सदपाय है वो सही नहीं है इसीलिए लोग इसकी इस बारिश की वजह से तकलीफ उठानी पड़ रही है या उनको मजबूरन घर में रहना पड़ रहा है और यमुना की भी ये देखिए आप, आप क्या सही है क्या आपको ही निर्धारण करनी है आप एक विचारण दे दीजिए क्योंकि जो भी संविधान के ऊपर प्रमाण करके शासन करने की ये करते हैं विपत्त और आपत परिस्थितियों में आपने इस तरह की बयान क्यों दे रहे हैं आप क्यों डरा रहे हैं और मानसून के पहले जो बारिश मौसम आने के पहले दिल्ली सरकार ने क्या तैयारी की है वैसे ही मोदी सरकार ने देश भर में किस तरह की तैयारी की है और नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न चीफ मिनिस्टर हो तेलंगाना चीफ मिनिस्टर या आंध्र प्रदेश केरला खासकर तमिलनाडु बेंगलुरु और कर्नाटका के चीफ मिनिस्टर्स ये लोग किस तरह की तैयारी कर रहे हैं बारिश मौसम के पहले व्हाट इज द प्रिपरेशन दे आर डूइंग प्री मानसून प्रिपरेशन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया मिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल डेली और केरला तेलंगाना नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट कर्नाटका तमिलनाडु व्हाट इज दट प्रिपरेशन यू हैव डन बिफोर प्री मानसून वॉट इज द प्री मानसून preparations you have done every time whenever there is rain flooding people are again forced to be inside everything comes to a standstill properties lost no roads properly and loss of precious lives what is this happening now let us go to our guest yes sir i think there are many videos which i don't want sarcastic videos which people are i no, think no, no, no. to the people no. citizens i agree i agree yeah see the problem we are not seeing new in towns and cities no city is exceptional no town is exceptional any rain between 5 to 10 cm in 24 hours water logging is seen in every city so in that respect no state no city authority are different in terms of controlling urban flooding so this urban flooding uh, is not getting addressed by anybody longest effort is done in mumbai from 2005 flooding onwards but still even today from 2005 to 2023 ground reality has not changed much except meethi river uh, uh, overflowing segment uh, they have addressed some uh, uh, encroachments are removed but otherwise various uh, spots of mumbai getting waterlogged and inundated uh, that scenario has not changed despite spending um, hundreds of crores on improving the drainage system in mumbai in particular and uh, under this smart city central government has funded more than 100 uh, 
cities and uh, cities and an amrut yojana second round uh, towns and municipalities are also funded with uh, city development uh, funds special grants uh, for city development urban development but there i don't know for what region storm water drain and uh, sewage drains improvement and widening them additional drainage capacities uh, in those towns and cities it seems is not the priority under the urban uh, uh, development projects funded by the central government so this is another serious problem we have to flag year after year season after season all towns and cities are suffering with water logging poor drainage system no expanding uh, drainage capacity and whatever drainage is there that is getting clogged with one spell of uh, heavy rain so we have serious maintenance issues associated with the uh, already uh, established and uh, uh, functional drainage system that is becoming very dysfunctional the moment one spell of rainfall comes so this is a very serious issue across the country no state is different no city is different no town is different but um, one thing before i really get into the drainage system you are such a man always when i try to contact you you are always there in one country or the other every country wants you is it not true that indian meteorological department issuing warnings or clear data or information to all state governments including central government and disaster management agencies yes that warnings have been issued the frequency of warnings have improved and even location specific warning systems along with maps now uh, there is a common alert protocol with images such as uh, app is there by disaster management authority ndma and ministry of home affairs all that information everybody is getting it is not the question of warning now it has become an issue of effectively responding and mitigating the adverse impact it's not the question of warning anymore because there used to be jokes whenever indian meteorological department says there it is going to rain there used to be sunshine no that uh, that era is over long back that is so that era is over. so because many messages i receive that era is over so you all stand corrected whenever you want to go out kindly check the weather because what is happening in uh, western countries when a journalist tries to put out the weather he is being threatened <laughs> because of the businessmen and hospitality industry or travel in the travel and tourist industry these fellows are trying to gang up and they are trying to threaten that is why i have asked you specifically how clearly correct your warnings or the information about the impending weather situation in india in southern india and does it go to every chief minister every state government state disaster management central disaster management and central government authority sir yes 100% it goes to all uh, designated disaster management and disaster respond uh, responding agencies 100% sure and to the last mile up to district level authorities to aap ye jankari aap jaan jaiye mere nagrikon aap jaag uthiye kyunki aisi samachar hamari मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट से हर एक सरकार राज्य सरकार को जाती है और केंद्र सरकार में विपत्त निवारण जो डिपार्टमेंट है होम मिनिस्ट्री के अंदर वहां पर भी मिनट टू मिनट हमारी वातावरण किस तरह रहनी रहेगी वर्तमान में और भविष्य में ये सही समाचार और एक वार्निंग के रूप में भी हर सरकार को मिलती है फिर मिलने पर भी हमारी स्थिति क्यों ऐसी है इसी के ऊपर हम चर्चा अब अगली पॉइंट now you have clearly stated sir in spite of these warnings in spite of uh, stay smart cities and uh, amrutkal cities second tier cities what is you think have played a video which has been say, shared by a citizen about our honorable prime minister of india you mean to say lack of knowledge by the politicians right from prime minister to chief minister and the, all the concerned ministers is it the main cause or the bureaucracy which never wants to address in spite of the budget reallocations what would be the reason sir the reason is uh, uh, this uh, uh, and uh, mitigating the urban floods uh, in the cities and towns 
and improving uh, uh, the drain, drawing capacity of flood waters, additional drain waters is not a priority for uh, governments or uh, bureaucrats. They might be thinking that it is only a question of 10 days a year or 15 days a year, heavy rain, water logging, uh, paralyzing uh, the whole activity, making the uh, people uh, at a lot of difficulty and making a whole life uh, uh, dysfunctional. It is only a matter of uh, maybe 10 days, 15 days in a year. But uh, uh, they are forgetting that uh, misery associated with this for the people living in uh, vulnerable areas, um, low income groups and uh, kacha houses. So they suffer a lot to recover uh, from these kind of shocks to them, like uh, lower stretches of uh, Yamuna is inundated already from uh, last two days. So all those people are living on their uh, uh, terraces. So water is already there, four feet, five feet water in the low lying areas and the Yamuna banks in Delhi. So even after uh, so much spending, we talk about Gurgaon, the modern city and IT city, maximum imports from North India to IT sector uh, contributed by Gurgaon uh, IT companies. But you see the pathetic conditions of Gurgaon, despite suffering, uh, drainage is not getting improved in Gurgaon. So uh, you must have seen in the reports so no improvement, no effort to um, address this uh, water logging and urban floods is not at all catching the priority for some unknown uh, reasons. Despite uh, so much suffering reported, coverage by the media, live coverage is given. Uh, in, um, uh, when it happens in Delhi or Mumbai or Chennai or Hyderabad, Bangalore, live coverage is given by all the channels. But uh, nothing uh, changes on ground from previous season to this season. So, we have to say that 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 we have to say इसको यह समझते हैं कि यह 10 दिन 15 दिन आएगा डुबाएगा फिर चले जाएगा लेकिन इसका असर इसके असर जो पीड़ित लोगों पे रहते हैं जो तट पर रहते हैं जो गरीब लोग रहते हैं उनके ऊपर यह जो असर जो है यह काफी महीने चलेगा और इसका यह नीति में कोई बदलाव यह लोग नहीं कर रहे हैं इस वजह से जैसे ही हमारे मानसून आती है बारिश की मौसम आती है या अकाल वर्ष के रूप में आती है हमारे पास ना ये ड्रेनेज की व्यवस्था है ना जो पानी आती है वो पानी को सही तरीके से उपयोग करने की व्यवस्था है स्टोरेज की बात करते हैं इस तरह ये पानी के वजह से आम आदमी जो है किस तरह ये इस, इस इसका असर से किस तरह वो सफर हो रहा है या उसको दिक्कत आ रही है इसका कोई समाधान नहीं है हमारे पास क्योंकि ना हम जागते हैं हर साल इसी तरह हम इस तरह की मुसीबत उठाते रहेंगे और सरकार केंद्र सरकार या राष्ट्र सरकार नजर अंदाज करते रहेगी और वो स्मार्ट सिटीज वो या अमृत काल के नीचे दूसरे टायर के सिटीज को पैसे दे रही है लेकिन ये मूल जो चाहिए हमारे को ये ड्रेनेज व्यवस्था हो या पानी को रोक के सही तरीके से इस्तेमाल करने की व्यवस्था ताकि हमारे रोड्स या हमारे रोडों पे या हमारे घरों पे ये पानी ना आए और हमारी ड्रेनेज व्यवस्था सही रहे इसका आज तक उसके ऊपर ध्यान ही नहीं जा रहा और हम जागना चाहिए एंड व्हाट डू यू थिंक आई हैव शोन यू अनदर टाइम आई विल शो यू हाउ कैन ए चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट आई हैव शोन यू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर आल्सो बोथ कैन 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 बी सो मिस इनफॉर्म सी व्हाट ही सेइंग इन 2015 ही सेस 36 आवर्स में 200 मिलीमीटर्स लेकिन 2023 में 36 घंटे में 153 मिलीमीटर 153 में बारिश में पूरी दिल्ली व्हाट यू से सर अबाउट दिस स्टेटमेंट द सेम केजरीवाल ऑन 12th जुलाई 2015 ही स्टेट्स 200 मिलीमीटर रेन इन लास्ट 36 आवर्स गवर्नमेंट कंटीन्यूअस मॉनिटरिंग एंड इंटरवेंशन मच लेस वाटर लॉगिंग देन लास्ट इयर्स वी विल कीप इंप्रूविंग 
now this time his own statement delhi received 153 millimeters of rain on 8th and 9th july delhi systems are not designed to take such unprecedented rain so people face the troubles what what is your comment sir as a true meteorologist he, he, uh, this this uh, government has been there it is a second term what stopped him uh, from improving the uh, drying capacity designing capacity of the drains nobody stopped him he had priorities other priorities so this also should have been the priority to avoid the water logging and urban flooding uh, in delhi so um, uh, rain fall intensity in coming days and last uh, 8 years 10 years heavy rainfall events are increasing this has been told every time every time because of global warming more uh, moisture holding capacity of the atmosphere particularly monsoon atmosphere has gone up significantly so that will definitely bring heavy spells much stronger than the past despite telling several times several times again and again in all forums everybody says that heavy rainfall has increased once it is increased you have to improve the capacity of dealing with heavy rainfall otherwise your uh, degree of suffering and degree of impact uh, will be in increasing so that's what is happening we are seeing the much more impact of this heavy precipitation short duration heavy rainfall so this is started troubling uh, the hill states much more than the plain areas because the problem of hill states is most of our rivers north indian rivers they flow from himalayas himachal uttarakhand and jammu and kashmir and from nepal side so all the rainfall happening in the hills will bring lot of sediment and uh, uh, other uh, uh, debris material because of deforestation already we have been doing the deforestation of the hills for other developmental purposes it could be called agriculture it could be called for tourism or for um, uh, highway development uh, connectivity there are so many uh, reasons for increasing the vulnerability of the hill slopes so what is happening is any rainfall heavy rainfall short duration heavy rainfall happening in few hours time Uh, is bringing down the lot of sediment, landslides, mudslides, and the whole thing is flowing into the river. Take the case of Bias now. Earlier case of Mandakini in Kedarnath tragedy in 2013. Now multiple Kedarnath Kedarnath type of epis, uh, uh, epochs have happened in uh, Himachal Pradesh now from several quarters, Lahore, Spiti, and Kilong area just north of uh, Mandi. whole of the hill slopes are uh, have experienced uh, landslide mudslide heavy rainfall and all that including water mud and all that debris with the logs tree logs uh, are also flowing through the city mandi several videos are there it is so unsafe and unfortunate uh, people have lost their cars uh, parked uh, trucks with loaded material is also um, gone Uh, taken away by the river uh, river waters flood waters and uh, so much of infrastructure medium scale bridges have collapsed so connectivity has become a serious issue low lying areas alongside the rivers just like kedarnath time uh, uh, building collapse uh, we are seeing uh, several places in himachal pradesh now so uh, another problem knowing very well that we cannot handle the heavy rainfall events and uh, take care of uh, the safety of the people and still we allow tourism in the rainy season till we allow chardham yatra till we allow all those uh, uh, um, holiday opportunities in hill states and we have to strictly regulate whatever number of people the government can handle uh, that much only people should be allowed to go from a particular place in central place so we are not controlling anything people are getting stranded now for so many days there is no network in uh, upper reaches of uh, uh, himachal pradesh so network re restoration will take its own time but uh, people uh, uh, stranded there have to be helped 
and i read in newspapers people stranded there are uh, uh, taking shelter made to take shelter in gurudwaras so except gurudwaras there is no other safe place also in uh, upper reaches of himalayas same is true temples are mats in uh, uttarakhand so at least for cyclone and other things we have some mechanism in coastal area cyclone shelters and other relief camps there is a standard operation procedure for these urban floods and flash floods and uh, these uh, cloud bursts and other impacts in local valleys who don't have mechanism of uh, safely relocating relocating the people also even with the warning so these are uh, things to be addressed on priority Uh, at least alternate uh, relief uh, routing mechanism has to be established in hill states to start with if one uh, sector one bridge collapses we should have at least by taking the circuitous route of 50 kilometers we should have an alternative route to reach uh, uh, to uh, uh, supply the essentials and other uh, pe- people standard also to be taken out Uh, for example people uh, stranded in navarnath yatra or chardham yatra to bring them helicopter is the only option but because of the inclement weather helicopter cannot fly amarnath yatra in small small rooms uh, uh, people are hundreds of people are only just standing there is no place for them uh, to take care for number of days like this when the things are uh, stopped or uh, uh, we are unable to operate uh, those uh, pilgrimages uh, how to uh, handle the crowds of this magnitude so these are all so many other unanticipated uh, difficulties are there impacts are there compounding uh, and uh, uh, compounded effects are happening uh, because of uh, one particular uh, um uh, response uh, uh, inability and uh, these are the creating new emergencies which are not there should not have been there avoidable emergencies we are creating so is tarah ki ek achhi si baat kahi hai aur ek last prashn leke hum saab ko jaane ki ijazat denge ek ek mahatvapurn baat ne kahi hai kyunki hum jo himalayas mein dekhte hain hum jo hills aur hillocks jo bolte hain वहाँ पेड़ पौधों को सर्वनाश किया गया है वो कुछ भी हो आप आ, हम ये डेवलप कर रहे हैं नो हम प्रगति इस तरह प्रगति कर रहे हैं रोड की प्रगति या हो या दूसरे चार धाम या इस तरह की प्रगति के बलस्वरूप हम पेड़ पौधों को हम पूरे वहाँ से निकालने से या पानी जब बारिश आती है हिमालय से इतनी तेजी से आती है साथ में सैंड और उसका सेडिमेंट लेके नीचे नदियों में बहती है जब बहती है लैंड के साथ में जो भी है वहां पर वहां उस प्रांत में नुकसान पहुंचेगा जैसे नदी में आती है इस तरह की सैंड वगैरह मिट्टी वगैरह लेके जब आती है पेड़ पौधे मिट्टी जब पेड़ ही पौधे नहीं है रोकने के लिए तो वो सब कुछ नीचे आ जाते हैं हमारे नदियों में बाढ़ की तरह ये हो जाता है और हमारी पूरी जीवन अस्त व्यस्त हो जाती है और इसके कोई इलाज ही नहीं है पेड़ पौधों को जिस तरह हमारे जंगल हो हमारे पेड़ पौधों को हमारे प्रगति के नाम पे जिस तरह नुकसान पहुंचा रहे हैं ये लोग इसी का वजह है हम उत्तराखंड से आज हिमाचल तक और आज दिल्ली में हो जयपुर में हो हैदराबाद में हो या केरला में इसी तरह की विध्वंस हम देख रहे हैं क्योंकि हम जंगल हो या पेड़ पौधों को नष्ट किया है और साथ में जहां नदी बहती है उसको पूरा आक्रमण करके उसको भी बंद कर दिया क्योंकि पानी और हाथी कहते ही वो अपने रास्ते नहीं भूलेंगे एलिफेंट एंड वाटर विल नेवर फॉरगेट देयर वेज इट इज आवर ओन मैन मेकिंग और इसके फर्फसलूप टूरिस्ट ऑपरेशंस एयरलाइंस हो टूरिस्ट ऑपरेटर्स और गवर्नमेंट भी उनको इंकरेज करता है और यात्री जाके अब हिमाचल में डॉक्टर्स भी वहां फंसे हुए हैं हैदराबाद के उस्मानिया डॉक्टर्स हिमाचल में अगर ये लोग सही समाचार लेते मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट के द्वारा और वहाँ सरकार हो केंद्र सरकार हो और राष्ट्र सरकार हो इनको ये कहते हैं कि भाई ये समय में यहाँ बारिश होने वाली है और यहाँ इतने ही मिनिमम फैसिलिटीज है इतने ही लोग वहां आनी चाहिए और इस तरह की चेतावनी अगर सरकार ने देती तो इस तरह की विध्वंस ना होता क्योंकि हमारा समाचार भी नहीं पहुंचता वहां पर संकेत जो भी संकेत जाते हैं संकेतिक परिज्ञान जो है उसका भी अस्त व्यस्त हुआ है वहां पर इसीलिए लोग जो है क्या है किस तरह है किसी को नहीं पता और ऊपर से जो लैंडस्लाइड हो रहे हैं उससे रोड्स पूरे बंद हो गए और ये सब हमने 
प्रगति के नाम पे जो किया है वो बड़ा दब्बा है आज भी हम नहीं सुधर रहे हैं एंड अनदर बिफोर आई से इज दिस ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द रीजन इन स्पाइट ऑफ लैक ऑफ मिनिमम फैसिलिटीज द सिटीज आर बीइंग अवार्डेड एज द बेस्ट सिटीज लाइक हैदराबाद एंड ऑल इज इट बिकॉज ऑफ लैक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ क्राउड है बारिश हो रही है तो एक बेनिफिट है कि हम आधार से बच सकते हैं मैंने कहा मेरा रॉ विजम है तो ये क्लाउड बेनिफिट भी कर सकता है सब उलझन में थे क्या करें ना अल्टीमेटली मैंने कहा मैंने कहा ठीक है क्लाउड है चल पड़े लेकिन मैंने कहा इतने क्लाउड है बारिश हो रही है तो एक बेनिफिट है कि हम आधार से बच सकते हैं मैंने कहा मेरा रॉ विजम है तो ये क्लाउड बेनिफिट भी कर सकता है सब उलझन में थे क्या करें knowledge and the bureaucracy also doesn't want to function is it the main reason why we are still suffering with the not improving infrastructure basic infrastructure drainages and water storage and not encroaching water bodies whether it is lakes nalas or water flowing areas and also the full tank levels of rivers or lakes not to be occupied and also not destroying the hills or hillocks those trees or that forest wild forest and the not reserve areas in hyderabad also they are destroying now in the name of real estate and all that the reserve forest areas destruction alongside not having any knowledge of what is nature what is weather what is monsoon what is rainfall and if you touch this hillocks if you destroy this forest if you occupy encroach these water bodies this is the result and this has to be addressed without addressing this nothing will happen and how is that the central government marks hyderabad or any other as the best cities city uh, related uh, awards and other things are given only on seeing uh, the how many industries have come how many export oriented uh, activities have come new job creation what has happened and new uh, housing uh, Uh, units availability has increased so uh, all on related to uh, improved uh, living conditions and improved income generation options and contributing to overall exports and gdp uh, so to that expect uh, to that extent uh, governments are looking uh, putting those parameters uh, smart city awards and other things are happening public transport the metro uh, and some buses these are the priorities but uh, beneath the metro is a bridge but beneath the bridge the things are uh, worse for the people so those basic needs they don't want to perhaps address on priority maybe there in their scheme of thing but definitely not a priority that is clear and uh, basic thing uh, which has made us to uh, go to this present level is unregulated unplanned uh, unsafe development which we have allowed over the decades land use and expansion of the cities whatever purposes earlier land was used now it is used for different uh, totally different purposes Uh, maybe it is productive in terms of gdp but it is a total uh, uh, destruction and disruption to the ecosystem and to the people ultimately ecosystem got degraded agricultural land become industrial land uh, we have released the pollutants from the industries contaminating soil contaminating drains and everything that has happened so far but next thing is environmental degradation ecosystem degradation is creating misery to the people in terms of floods and water logging so this we have not anticipated we have allowed the development okay let it happen but now that develop development is sitting on your neck 
unplanned, unregulated, unsafe development which we have allowed. So, some encroachments here and there we are trying to address. But overall, uh, uh, environment and ecosystem uh, uh, balance, disruption, whatever has happened, we are not addressing it holistically. Unless we start addressing holistically whatever mistakes we have done in terms of development, we will not be a, a looking for a safer uh, um, uh, cities and safer, uh, uh, definitely not safer hill, uh, hilly, hill states in coming uh, years. Unless and until we do that, we have to see, we have the problem of, you have seen the problem of sinking also uh, in places like Joshimat and several other places, there many places are not reported. Uh, sinking his uh, subsidence is taking place. This subsidence will add incremental addition to the landslides tomorrow with heavy rains coming. So these are uh, consequential uh, uh, cascading and compounding impacts. Also, we have to anticipate in terms of looking for safety of uh, uh, the people living in those areas. People, small houses, own houses, they construct with their lifetime earning. If one event like this destroys, their whole lifetime earning is gone with the uh, disaster. So that they will not be able to recover. Whoever, whomsoever have lost their valued properties and lands under this kind of uh, impact, they will not be able to recover in their lifetime. So this is more important. Already whatever government infrastructure, bridges, roads, whatever we have built, particularly widening of Shimla, uh, Chandigarh Road, every year uh, some segment or several segments uh, gets broken with the landslides. So even this time it has happened, several places between Shimla and uh, uh, Chandigarh, Shimla and People Manali. Travelers got crushed yes. also. Uh, crushed also. So despite seeing uh, uh, the impacts of already the unsafe development which we have done, uh, we are not uh, opening our eyes really to see the uh, public safety and the social economic benefits of the future. At least now we should start looking at them, seeing the impacts from 2013 and very much high uh, magnitude and wider scale impacts of Himachal Pradesh compared to 2013 in Uttarakhand. So we have to open up our eyes, we have to start doing something. You mean to say lack of knowledge and understanding of the politicians or administrators is also a major problem? No, lack of understanding, I don't say. For cyclone-related uh, activities, they are fully geared up to deal with the situation. Coastal inundation, cyclone uh, and other things. But uh, uh, the similar priority for floods, local floods, urban floods, hill floods, riverine floods, coastal inundation, there are several types of floods happening because of uh, water logging and other things, blocking the Nala somewhere. So all these in an integrated manner for uh, uh, flood management has to uh, become a national priority at least now. Because we have seen CM KCR statement that he will make Hyderabad, uh, New York or Karimnagar this thing similar. Uh, and uh, he says I have sanctioned thousands of crores to improve underground drainage, but nothing But already, well, already in this season, several times Hyderabad was water lagged bad, badly, oh. badly. Very badly. Very badly. Not only Hyderabad, now all the other towns in uh, Telangana. Every, every, no, no every city is spared. No town is spared. Every, every city authority is functioning in a similar manner, identical manner. Why do you think? Because this loss, this loss, this loss of uh, by floods and all, they have given even distributed ten thousand rupees. Why is that they are still not? Because this loss will be huge for any state or country, because the effects, the cumbersome effects will be very heavy and it will extend to the next flooding season also. And now you yes. said because delayed monsoon has put paid to short crops. Uh, I mean, uh, the natural crops which we uh, farmers sow in this region, they are not able to sow because of the delayed monsoon. So there will be a severe food crisis. Nutritious food will not be available and even agriculture also will not be become a, 
uh, what should i say at least a minimum uh, uh, this thing for farmers tomorrow so farmers also will start losing the site and they will say no we don't want to get into agriculture this severe food no, crisis no. lack of i mean uh, nutritious food malnutrition is also big headache tomorrow malnutrition is already a problem in india but at least uh, food shortage has not been there because of monsoon and uh, food grain production uh, is uh, very good so far uh, but these kind of uh, delayed monsoon and dry spells in between for longer duration uh, in the beginning of the season uh, associated with the sowing can have an impact if this happens for a couple of years successively 23 24 25 this happens so there will be a impact on the overall food production also so we should also plan for short duration varieties contingency crop planning and so many several things have to happen so water and agriculture are tomato very closely related to each other tomato 130 water rupees vegetable is 100 rupees kg now yes sir anything happen onion goes da goes up or tomato goes up everything the monsoon season short duration short duration things they know because of not rain not having rain uh, there will not be crop in coming in next month so they have to raise the prices so everybody wants to opportunistic and uh, wants to make money to the extent possible you call it hoarding you call it uh, uh, manipulation of prices everything has become a stock market type of thing now everything has become a last question sir why do you think this monsoon is getting delayed or more flooding in some areas have you have answered no monsoon always have like this only in selected places it will be heavy and other places it will be no rain and moderate rains will be happening um, this time uh, because of favorable conditions happening in uh, several uh, Uh, parts leaving the south india so far uh, north india is uh, having uh, more uh, uh, rainy days so far compared to to compare to to southern parts of uh, india south of india south of india's rainy days have been less north of india's rainy days have been more so far but now uh, south of india particularly from now to next 10 days whole of uh, coastal andhra pradesh telangana vidarbha marathwada um, should um, uh, receive good rain so that all deficit which is there so far also will be covered up any 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 so any, now, any any reason for uh, this climate change or whatever you say is also no no Man- monsoon uh, monsoon will be whenever rain comes it will be intense that is triggered by climate change only uh, having the longer duration yes, of adverse sp- climate change uh, effects in the adverse climate change. Climate, change, climate change effects only there will be a very high intensity short duration precipitation spells and there will be dry spells followed by dry spells so that's why water uh, management storage uh, uh, capturing water whenever wherever in whatever form it comes uh, becomes very important in nowadays Uh, otherwise we will get into the water shortages otherwise we will get into water st- shortages in spite of good rainy days good monsoon mm. if you don't yes. proper manage it because everything if you allow it will go into the sea through rivers yes if you don't yes. have proper and while going it will inundate it will flood because you have land encroached you have cut down the full tank levels and you have cut down the forest also and that is the reason why and more of in the name of industries that pollution pollutants which are adding in the name of that garment industry or pharmacy industries which are which will pollute right from water to air not leaving any yes. space for anything and top of that the way himalayans are being degraded or removing trees or uh, disturbing the hills hill structure it is going to be a big devastation and the forest covers in the inland areas reserve forest areas if you are meddling with that if you are encroaching nalas and rivers and rivulets it is going to be a big disaster in happening every monsoon we are discussing flooding in this area flooding in that area but what is the effective policy of the state central government why parliament doesn't discuss and for that matter what is happening at the panchayat level municipality level municipal corporations and at the assembly level state assemblies why states are not discussing panchayats not discussing such a 
serious situation every now and then we discuss the other time kedarnath now himachal pradesh jaipur delhi then hyderabad bengaluru kerala tamil nadu mumbai for how long we should be discussing why there is no remedial measures what is happening with india and this effect it is not just there for 10 days or 12 days believe me this extends into the next season too that is the suffering people invest fortune to build an house that gets washed away inundated that entire area becomes totally flooded not only that we have seen baby sumeda they lost their lives because of improper maintenance of nalas and all last year too we lost precious lives and in this hyderabad when ktr bose software personnel were get washing away still why there is no proper drainage or nala repairs undertaking why you are not expanding the underground drainages for free flow of water why water management is not done what has happened to kaleshwaram last time the entire pump sets were submerged i'm giving an example which they were tried to highlight every time why the pump sets were submerged was the dam in the right place where is the storage how many acres it has irrigated we have canals all these connecting canals to mitigate floods from the river we have these canals it is taken to the fields and the storage places to mitigate the floods as has been an example of hyderabad in 1908 floods vishweshwar ayya ji he has built two water tanks himayat sagar and usman sagar gandipet we call interlinking with beautiful lakes we say golchukattu cherulu himayat sagar usman sagar to anusandhanam but you have and then nalas beautifully connected all those things connected isa and musa so that the entire water again connects and flows into krishna river but these storage tanks they say it is for water but it is flood mitigation vardal naapadaniki but in the they by removing triple one jivo they are destroying the spirit of flood mitigation yes vartal no apeta 20 oka manchi golchukatti cheruvulu ismas usman sagar himachal sagar no triple one jivo theyadam valla nashtam chestha unnaru oka udaharana idi appudu var nee lekadiki pothayi malla 19 naati 80 naati inka bibatsamaina twenty situation endukante musi ni kuda ekkada varthe akkada occupy chesaru ప్రగతి పేరు మీద ఎక్కడ పడితే అక్కడ ఇదే మనకు కావాల్సిన ప్రగతి మనం సురక్షితంగా ఉండాలా లేదా రేపు పొద్దున మన పిల్లలు వారికి సురక్షితంగా ఉండాలా లేదా మంచి నీరు తాగడానికి మంచి నీరు గాలి ఉండడానికి మంచి ఇల్లు కానీ విపరీత చేష్టల వల్ల ఈరోజు ట్యాంకులు పోతున్నాయి ఉస్మాన్ సాగర్ హిమాయత్ సాగర్ గొలుచుకట్టు చెరువులు మాయం నాలాలు మాయం నీరు ఎక్కడికి పోతుంది నీరు అక్కడికే వస్తుంది మీరు ఎంతసేపు ప్రగతి చూసి ఈ రోజు ఉన్నారు పాలకులు వాళ్ళు ఎక్కడ పారిపోవచ్చు బయటకి ఎక్కడికైనా మన పరిస్థితి ఏమిటి ఎందుకు ఆలోచన చేయరు మీరు ఇప్పుడు కాకపోతే ఇంకెప్పుడు లేదు మన పిల్లల భవిష్యత్తు వద్దా వర్తమానం అంధకారం మన పిల్లల భవిష్యత్తు ఏంది ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ ప్లాన్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ రేజ్ యువర్ వాయిస్ యువర్ ప్రజెంట్ ఈజ్ గాన్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ యు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు గివ్ టు యువర్ కిత్ అండ్ కిన్ అగర్ ఆ మై ఇసీ తరా రహే హమారా వర్తమాన్ ఖతం भविष्य में हमारे बच्चों के लिए हम क्या देंगे इसीलिए जागो वेकअप सिटीजन निद्र लेवी पौरारा अब मन दी बैठ पड़ता लेदे अदे वर वर्ष अदे वरद अवे इबंध यू डोंट वेकअप दि सें फ्लड सें रेन सें मानसून एंड अट टाइम्स फ्लडिंग इन टू सच एन एक्सटेट इट विल टेक अवे युवर वे रोज ఇబ్బందులు తీవ్రతరం అవుతాయి చెప్పండి సార్ మళ్ళీ ఒక మాట అది మనం ఇప్పటికి కూడా మనం కళ్ళు తెరుచుకోలేకపోతే వచ్చే సంవత్సరాల్లో ఈ వర్షం మూలాన అతి వర్షం మూలాన ఇబ్బందులు చాలా తీవ్రతరం అవుతాయి ఫ్యూచర్ దీస్ రెయిన్స్ విల్ ఇనండేట్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు మెడల్ విత్ హిమాలయాస్ removing forest cover encroaching nalas water bodies destroying water storage tanks like himayat sagar usman sagar by removing triple one jivo 
you are going to face severe problems now a big big issue in the himachal pradesh much severe than what has happened in 2013 kedarnath just for the sake of development roads and all travelers tourism industry and you say chardam pilgrimage but at what cost at the cost of your own safety and security not only that your safety and security is gone and the future of our children will also go by that if you don't wake up thank you very much sir if this will be repeated on environment i mean people drtspr channel too do support drtspr channel citizen drtspr channel and environment people drtspr channels support subscribe and share it so that we keep on doing shows with wonderful guests as per rule of law constitution invoking evidential act no enmity against individuals nor animosity against parties or organizations except the larger public interest thank you very much right. thank you no bye